everyone, Mommy Aini here. Welcome to my channel. videos about lifestyle, beauty, product hauls, and product reviews. And if you guys interested in those videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. And also, please click the notification bell para updated ka sa mga future uploads ko. And for today's video, um, gagawa ko ng follow-up video siguro. Kasi gamawa ko ng baby essential haul last two years ago na yata yun. And then, marami nang comment doon about Cetaphil Cleanser, kung okay ba siya sa newborn baby. So, um, naisip akong gumawa ng follow-up video about the Cetaphil Cleanser. So, if you're guys interested, just keep on watching. So, ang re-reviewin natin ngayon, actually, kukumpare natin tong Cetaphil um, um, Gentle Cleanser. Ito yung nakita nila sa video ko. And then, this Cetaphil uh, Baby Moisturizing Bath and Wash. So, um, this is both from Cetaphil Glenderma o Galderma. Sila yung imported, nag-import ng product dito sa Philippines. So, ito yung Cetaphil uh, Gentle Cleanser. Uh, unang rinabihin muna natin. So, this is uh, one liter. Uh, actually, pinasabay ko to sa... Um, isang Facebook group, nagpapasabay sila ng mga items from abroad. And, mas sobrang mura nito. Kasi, this is 1 liter and, also, and it only costs 650. So, yung nabili ko si SNR na 500 ml, 5, actually, 650 rin na yun. 650 na rin siya sa SNR. Pero, yung mo, 500 liter yung um, na-save mo dito. Kasi, this one is 1 liter, 650 lang siya. So, okay pa rin. I suggest, if you're have a friend na nasa abroad or if you have groups na alam nyo nagpapasabay na items, um, might as well magpabili na lang kayo dun kasi mas mura talaga. And this is 1 liter, magagamit nito ni baby for like 1 year siguro or more um, less than a year. So, sobrang sulit na siya. And then, going back, so, kukumpare natin, marami nagtanong doon, okay ba daw itong Cetaphil Cleanser sa mga newborn baby? So, I've been using Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser, itong particular product na to for uh, since on my eldest daughter. So, she's 11 years old na. And, ito yung actually, nakagamit na ako nito, college pa lang ako. Um, Nag-aaral ako noon, nagkaroon ako ng pimple breakout. Ito yung pinagamit sa akin ng dermatologist kasi sobrang mild nito as in. Then, ito naman yung Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser Face and Body for All Skin Types. Uh, it says here, daily cares for sensitive uh, skin, soap and fragrance free, won't sting eyes, moisturizes as it cleanses, and it's also dermatology tested. So, kulang tayo ng konti. So, ito yung consistency niya. Parang, pareho lang din siya ng moisturizing baby wash na isa. But this one is, hindi to bumubula. As in, wala tong bula. Ayan. And actually, you can use this um, alone without water. You can use this as is as your cleanser using cotton. So, ganun din siya yung purpose niya. So, basahin mo na natin yung claims niya dito. Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser. This is recommended by dermatology dermatologists as daily gentle cleanser for even the most sensitive skin. It has fragrance soft lanonin free gentle on baby skin removes light makeup non-comodogenic it won't block pores helps skin retain moisture ph balance won't sting eyes and use with or without water so yung magic nito you can use this with or without water so naalala ko dati if um pagod ka sa trabaho you can use this alone kuha ka lang ng konting um kuha ka lang ng cotton buds or sorry, <laughs> cotton balls and then kuha ka ng konting product na to lagay mo sa face mo yun yung para magiging toner mo it works na ganun lang sya and then and um, by the way nakalagay din dito na it removes um, and this one is for face and body you can use this for your baby for face and body so as uh, sin as sabi ko nga kanina ginamit ko na siya sa baby ko tatlo yung anak ko ito yung ginagamit ko sa kanila 0 to 3 months sa buong katawan nila kasi um 
Meron namang shampoo. Ina-alternate ko actually yung uh, Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Ina-alternate ko siya using this uh, baby uh, Cetaphil Reser. Kasi um, medyo matapang yung uh, shampoo. So, ito, ginagamit ko siya sa hair, sa body, and sa face for 3 months. Kasi, um, sobrang dahil hindi siya bumubula, and then hindi siya ganong kadulas, madali mo siyang mabanlawan yung anak mo. Hindi ka magtatagal sa paliliko. Siyempre, medyo fragile pa si baby. As much as possible, hindi natin sila kailangang ibabad sa tubig ng matagal. So, for me, okay yung mga cleanser na hindi ganon kadulas, hindi ganon kabula. Mabilis siyang maababanlawan. So, ito yung ginagamit ko for 3 months. And then, after habang lumalaki sila, ito na lang yung ginagamit ko sa face nila alone kasi hindi nga siya talaga bumubula and then wala kahit kuskus mo sa mata nila hindi sila masisting o hindi sila may irritate tested ko na talaga to as in walang amoy walang bula and then walang sting sa mata so ayan yung um um suggestion ko if a newborn mommy ka or sorry if you're a new mom and then you're having a baby I suggest isama mo tong um Cetaphil cleanser sa baby essentials mo kasi kapag newborn kasi sobrang okay siya and sobrang gentle. Next naman itong Cetaphil uh, Baby Moisturizing Bath and Wash. So, I believe bago lang to, siguro 3 years ago, kasi nung nanganak ako ay Iris, 5 years ago, parang wala pa nito eh. Parang bago lang to. So, actually, ilang beses pa lang ako bumibili to. Ah. Pangalawa pa lang siguro. Kasi ang like ko rin talagang binibili is tong cleanser. So, ito, napabili ulit ako para uh, ma-share ko sa inyo yung thoughts ko nito. But nakagamit na rin ako nito before. So, it has, it says here, it is a moisturizing bath and wash with aloe vera and almond oil. It's tear-free, so free with one-third lotion, hypoallergenic pH balance, and nakalagi dito is good for body. Pero nakalagi dito is bath and wash. So, ayan. Good for body lang siguro to. So, hindi siya preferable sa mata. Sa face. Pero nakalagay naman is tear-free. So, so, by the way, nabili ko to sa Watson for 200 um, 20 pesos. Ito, ganito kalaki. And this is 230 ml. So, bibigyan ng closer look and texture ng consistency ng Cetaphil Moisturizing Bath Wash. So, this is the Cetaphil BB Moisturizing Bath and Wash with aloe vera and almond. So, it has the... It says here, this is a tear-free, so free. It has one half or one third lotion, hypoallergenic and pH balance. It is 210, 230 ml. So, itong Cetaphil Baby Moisturizing niya. So, ayan siya. And then, I have, meron ako ditong water. So, itong um, Cetaphil Moisturizing, binasa ko siya and then, meron siyang konting bula. Ayan, nakita nyo. Pati lang kasi meron pa rin siyang konting bula. And then sa amoy, meron siyang konting amoy, gentle amoy, na sin parang abag baby amoy. Okay lang siya, hindi siya yung ganun katapang. Ayan. And then as you can see on the video, medyo may konti siyang bula and then medyo madulas siya. So, um, hindi naman siya ganun kadulas unlike sa mga other baby uh, shampoo or baby wash na ang daming-daming bula bagong matanggal yung uh, ang daming-daming bula bago mo siya mabanlawan na maigi. So, ayan. It's also dermatology tested. So, my final thoughts about this two Cetaphil cleanser. Um, if, siguro, ang suggestion ko if you're a new mom and then you have a newborn baby, dito ko na lang muna sa gentle cleanser. Mag, uh, dito na lang muna yung bilhin mo. As I mentioned a while ago, um, we can add this on your baby essential. Kasi sobrang gentle niya. You can use this on the hair, body, and face ng baby mo. And then, again, iba-iba rin tayo ng, iba-iba rin yung skin type ng babies natin. If first, gamit mo sa kanya and then nagkaroon ng reaction ang anak mo, stop mo siya agad and then consult your uh, pediatrician and then, um, yeah, basta any reaction on your sa skin ng baby nyo, stop kayo agad. So, it doesn't mean na nag-work siya sa baby ko, eh, mag-work din sa mga baby nyo. Depende rin yan sa mga skin types ng mga babies natin. So, um, this one, you can also use this, siguro kapag medyo malaki na si baby, nasa toddler na, I 
yan na hindi na medyo fragile, I suggest you can use this one na. Kasi, um, medyo may, meron na siyang amoy. So, habang lumalaking baby, nagpapawis. So, ayan. I highly recommend na to kasi, um, so gusto na natin medyo mabango si baby. Naging active siya. So, may siguro mag-shift na tayo doon sa mga baby cleanser or baby wash na may konting amoy para mabango naman si baby pagkatapos maligo. So, yun lang naman yung uh, thoughts and review ko dito is about two set of cleanser. This is my personal experience and personal opinion lang naman. So, uh, meron kayong, um, comments and experience about these two products, just leave it there in the comment section box. Babasahin ko yan. If, if you have any other products that you want me to review, just leave it there. Comment down below and then gagawa na natin ng video yan. Sisikapin natin ng gawa ng video yan. And don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. Yan, lalay ko dyan. Nagpapost ako on my Instagram and Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the notification bell. Again, it's me, your mommy, Aini. Thank you, thank you again. See you on my next vlog. Bye!